Hi guys, I wanted to share with you some key points from the outcome of the class action lawsuit against ECT shock device manufacturers. Um, be sure to read the rest of the information, I'll have it linked below so you can see if you qualify to participate in lawsuits going forward. A reasonable jury could find that the ECT device manufacturer was in violation of relevant federal regulations. A reasonable jury could find that plaintiffs suffered brain damage as a result of ECT. A reasonable jury could find that the ECT device manufacturer failed to warn plaintiffs treating physicians of brain damage resulting from ECT, leading to oft-reported and acknowledged symptoms of permanent memory loss and cognitive impairment. I don't know about you guys, but those are some of the most beautiful, life-changing sentences I have ever heard in my life. I am still so stunned, you know, I, I wondered if this, this would ever be a reality that a court of law would recognize what's happened to us. Um, they would recognize the, the efforts that this industry has made to keep in business and to not protect patients. Um, so, so many feelings. Um, tell me how you're feeling below. Um, and, and be sure to check out the information. I think that's all I've got.